Former President Goodluck Jonathan and his Ghanaian counterpart John Mahama have emphasized the need for quality and transparent leadership coupled with inclusive democracy in governance in Africa towards addressing some of the socio-economic and political challenges facing the continent. They made the call in Abiokuta, the Ogun state capital, during the 87th birthday ceremony of the former president Olusegun Obasanjo, held at the Olusegun Presidential Library in the state capital. Eminent personalities, which include former President Goodluck Jonathan, former President of Ghana, governors of Ogun and Bielsa State, Bishop Hassan Kuka, religious leaders, family and friends, were at hand to celebrate the former president. Former President Jonathan and his Ghanaian counterpart John Mahama advocated a renewed transparent leadership inclusive democracy but decried winner-takes-all syndrome. Africa needs to create wealth and significantly grow its economy. Africa must be at peace. An inclusive democracy and good governance will deliver the needed peace. Democracy may appear to be under threat or receding in Africa, especially with the resurgence of military rule in some countries. But we should not give up hope. The truth is that we have made some progress on the continent. We appreciate leaders like Obasanjo for their continuous efforts in strengthening democracy in Africa. So Baba, continue. At any given moment in the life of a nation, strong and defiant leadership was needed in the pre-colonial struggle for African liberation and independence not a leadership of hum uh, humility. At the time we were fighting for the independence of our nations, we needed strong, defiant leadership. So a humble leader would not have done, a meek leader would not have done. If I give you another example, none could have been more effective as England's wartime prime minister than was the Churchill, who was popularly called the Bulldog. Former President Obasanjo, while appreciating dignitaries for their love and prayers, however said that a liberal democracy inherited from the Western world has not engendered the desired development on the continent. We are rethinking liberal democracy because if it is relevant to their culture and their history, what they have given us is not, is not relevant to our culture and to our history. Now, I believe that when we are able to have democracy that is African in content, sufficiently African in content, in culture, and in history, and in practice. The sort of thing that happened in Plateau State recently will not happen. Because the uh, idea of, well, we will win by hook or by crook, and you go to court. There will be no question of going to court because you won't have to win by hook or by crook. To many who were present at the occasion, former president has continued to be a leading light in the political development of the continent of Africa. Baba remains a leading voice in his quest for political emancipation, good governance, anti-corruption and social justice. Baba can be very controversial though. You can't pay him not to speak. Neither can you pay him to say what he doesn't believe in. Baba is far-sighted and has a knack for nurturing leaders. This is started way back. Hello, 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.